Hey guys, Castacata here. Um, today I'm gonna go through all my add-ons because I keep getting spammed. The same question over and over again on uh, YouTube and elsewhere. Um, what add-ons I'm using? What's this? What's that? It's usually the same thing over and over again. So um, I hope this video helps you and answers all the questions. And um, yeah, let's get started. So the first one I'm gonna um, go through is move anything. This is what makes me be able to unlock this frame and move it about. It's a default, there's a UI and I can just move it. So this is gotta lock it again. This is move anything. Um there is a way of bringing it up somewhere. In here. You could pretty much move anything default around the map, whatever, focus frames, anything, um, so that's that. What else have I got? Bartender, this is my bar setup here, it's pretty common, everybody uses it really. I think about getting rid of it soon, but I'm not sure, I kind of like uh, how neat it is and everything. It's, everybody uses it because it's so easy to bind things, you just click that. Take it off, find it on whatever you want. That's an F, so I'll put it back. Um, and again, you can just unlock buttons, take bars off, put bars on, etc., etc. It's quite easy. Um, what, have, what else have I got? Right, the next uh, add-on that I'm going to go through is Power Auras. It's less popular than it was. Um, TBC Rathalich game because Blizzard's now implemented their own. Um, spell alert system um, since 4.1, I think. Uh, but yeah, I still use it for quarter eyes. Um, I make it play a sound. Uh, let me see. Shot. So that even if so much shit is going on, I can't even tell if it's popped or not. I can still hear that quarter eyes has gone off. Um, I used it for Dark Sim as well. Um, again, another little aura. Uh, so I can give the DK slow fall instead of um, Dragon's Breath and get owned. Um, but sometimes that spell's unavoidable, unavoidable against a good DK, so. Um, I've got rid of the Blizzard UI now, and I'm using Impact and Hot Streak by these two little things, but yeah. As a, as a fire mage, you don't really, or as a mage in general, you don't need anything apart from dark sim, core eyes, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's not needed. Uh, next, we're gonna go through um, this combat log. This is um, eavesdrop. A lot of healers use this. Um, it's not really seen that much, but. The reason I use it is because I got asked the other day. The reason I use it is because um, let me try and find it. Here it is. You can ch check all these, but I just use combat. That's all you need. And then customize it, make it bigger, make it smaller, um, fade it, etc. The reason I use it is because um, combat text in WoW. If you op if you're shattering someone with a pirate bass, say or more commonly with a Scorch or something. Um, and he's got, say, a Priest Bubble on. Uh, it'll say Absorb, and that's about it. Um, you won't know if you've crit or not, um, unless it's your second crit and your Hot Streak procs. Um, but in the bottom right here, it won't say Absorb, it'll just say um, 7k crit or something. And so it helps me line up Hot Streaks and um, Combustions and stuff, and it just lets me know I crit um, when it's not obvious. Um, in WoW. Uh, yeah, so that's why I use that. And um, sometimes it's, hel it hel it's helpful when you get one shot, you don't know why you've been one shot, it's just cleaner than the WoW combat log. Um, got crit by a 50k ferocious bite the other day, it was pretty funny. Um, what next? Um, the next add on I'm going to go through is um, a really popular question. Um, it's these. Um, Unit frame um, health bars, enemy health bars. Um, 
people seem to like the debuff icon. Uh, that's why I've got it as well. It shows me. You can customize it, but it shows me. Um, <coughs> I'm doing no damage because I'm in no gear. Um, shows me ignite, um, combustion, everything I need to know really. Um, so I can get good procs. Shows kind of cold. Dragon's Breath. Anything really important. So yeah, this is Tidy Plates. I can't believe I missed with that Ring of Frost. Wow. This is Tidy Plates. Um, let me find it. It's a PvE thing really, but yeah. It's quite good. I like it a lot. Um, it's good for quickly showing my debuffs and stuff. Lining up kills and stuff. Um, what's next? Cooldown count. Think. I think. Ah, duped. This is duped at the bottom right. Um, uh, I don't know if you can see my cursor. It's at the bottom right, just below my bar. Um, it shows pommel, kick, mind freeze, uh, rebuke, all that jazz. Um, it's not needed again if you're really good. You won't you won't need it at all. But for noobs like me, um, it's pretty decent to just quickly check if the mage has CS or not, and uh, if you need to fake cast. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, you can always um, try um, interrupt bar. So it's that the same really, but I prefer jutes. Um What's next? Lose control. So this is lose control. Um, not a really good example, but I've got it next to next to me where this um, counter attack or whatever that um, icon is. Um, basically, if I get um, kidneyed or something, it'll pop up here. You've probably seen it in my vids. Um, anything really. That's a, a stun or disorient or massive CC, it'll show up there. That's lose anything. Um, you can customize it quite a bit as well. But I've pretty much kept it default and it's quite nice. Um, quartz. This is my cast bar. Um, I like it because it shows my latency and stuff on my casts. Um, which changes like every single cast, which is crazy. So I don't know how accurate it actually is, but um, yep, yeah, of course it's good. It can also like track dots and stuff, but I don't use it for that. Prat is my chat add-on. Um, nothing special. It's a chat add-on. Cooldown count. Um, if I use Dragon's Breath, you can see it says 20 seconds on there. Um, I don't really need it anymore because I played Fire that long night. It just didn't, I internally track it in my head, so I know it. I usually use Dragon's Breath before it's even off cooldown. If you get what I mean. Um, button for Cade just makes my buttons look nice. Bagnon. That basically. Oh, you can see my bags are absolutely amazing for nothing. Uh, what else is that? Decursive, this is a PvE add-on really, um, but I've found it's the best way for me to remove curse anyway. Um, left click on this port on this little box up here, and you'll remove curse. Um, right click is polymorph, so if someone's like, um, that's why that's why it's a PvE thing really. If someone's MC'd or something, you can polymorph it. Um, yeah, you don't. You shouldn't really use decursive to decurse, that's quite a newbie. You shouldn't do that. What else have we got? Well, Gladius. Everybody knows what Gladius is. Um, it's your arena. Gladius UI. Here we go. No, it's not really show. Okay. Everybody knows what Gladius is. Um, actually, th I think. No, okay. Um, Gladius is anyway eight arena unit frames. Um, pretty standard among PvPers. Um, yeah, the biggest ones I get asked on is um, 
um, definitely um, lose control and um, tie your plates. So yeah, this has been an add-on video. Um, I hope it answers a lot of those questions that I keep getting asked all the time, 24/7. So tune in next time. Next video is going to be um, spec gear, um, that sort of thing, um, pretty in-depth hopefully. And then I'm going to move on to dueling videos. Um, going to make a dueling series uh, every class hopefully. Maybe nearly even every spec besides healers, because healers suck for me to duel, to be honest. Um, yeah, so cast out, cheers.